flavouring, that side, the pad of it, seems that when you're working, obviously you're looking in this way, so you go in, like like that, that, tilt it slightly, try and, yeah, try and keep it straight, yeah, as mm. flat as possible. As it was there, yeah. you need to work with the curves, obviously that curve is... I know, so we will we'll do like that and then it will go like Yeah, that. that's right, yeah. The way that you were just doing it, that, at that point I think you were holding down too much pressure. Okay. You weren't holding it down too much. You want the machine really to do... Do the work, I yeah. suppose, yeah. Machines do the work. And you really need to be careful of these bits because that plate there, it really was coming close into this. Oh, okay. And that was because there was weight down on the machine and you were just bringing it straight back All right, yeah. instead of, you know, what you need to work this on a bit of an angle, say on that half of the pad in this piece. Yeah. And then you want to come back to over around here and then work so this piece flat. Like there, right? Uh, right? I'd probably be doing it something like that. Yeah, yeah, when you're back on the edge, yeah. Okay, and then right there. Uh, yes, so but when you're doing this piece, let me I'll quickly demonstrate just so I can get a feel for it. That point there is yeah. the sweet spot. Yeah. It, it, I can just feel that it's the sweet spot, it's hard for me to explain. Yeah. But the pad is working that piece there. Yeah. And only that piece. If you move it down a bit further, yeah. you're going to be cutting there and there, and you're going to be missing out this. So bad. then the idea then is to move off of the edge and get in further, yes? Yeah, so obviously you want to do this piece as a, as a one. Yeah, and then you come into there to do that, that piece, because that is already been yeah. completely done doing that. And that's the same with all the panels on the car, all yeah. of these, the different curved bits. So, yeah. you know, the way that they curve and whatnot, those bits, etc. those when it's got around this piece, that piece. Okay. Yeah. So if you try and do them both at the same time, you're just going to end up missing this. Yeah, because I think what you're trying to do is you're trying to do it like that, aren't you? And then go down the centre piece. Maybe? Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because that's what you think you're trying to do. This is definitely the better way to do it. Yeah. So you're, you're missing, yeah, missing a bit in the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, just, uh, yeah, keep, um, you don't want to apply too much weight to the machine, particularly because it's a macrofiber pad. They do like to build up a lot of heat. All right. Mm -hmm. So if you put loads of pressure down and it's off paint work, then you could be in trouble. Yeah. Um, even with a DA, you could be in trouble. Yeah. So try and let the machine do the work, but even so, do you want to put a little bit of pressure down, but nothing, nothing, nothing like, like yeah, just to it. get it so that it's connected and it's flat with the paintwork. Yeah. All right. Okay. Shall we go away and have a coffee and we'll leave you to it? No, no. Because no, you said to me, you said to me
I mean, I was at the computer from 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 5 hours last night, 5 hours the night before. Most of that, when I'm editing, I'm there scratching away at this side oh, yeah, through yeah. frustration and boredom. Well, not boredom, but I think it's more frustration. Yeah. Again. So, start right from here and all the way to here, right? Yeah, may as well do all of the inside, um, the defects, yeah, all the way inside. So, yeah, just like that. Yeah, yeah, that way you can just do it up and down like that. Yeah. And you could even use to make your... Can we check the paint thickness? Oh yeah, good idea. Just to cut out on camera, because at least they go, oh, look, this is a bit thin. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that might be an OE wing, actually, yeah, that is maybe not been tempered with. Yeah. We'll measure it where that big defect is. 78. 72. 72. 80. 94. 74. 74. Mm, reasonably low. The bonnet, similar to the bonnet. This is a bit of a mystery car, I'd need a little bit of time to properly investigate this car. Write the numbers down and figure it all out. Yes, because it, it does seem to be all over the place, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, Sometimes the um, Subaru that I had in, it has the, the front wings, rear wings, we're all measuring 160, and the rest of the car was measuring about 110. Right. It was like, why are all the wings different? But then that must have been something with the, the car that it is. They just paint the wings off the car. It oh, happens, to be, yeah. happens to be bigger, yeah. uh, thicker. So, I don't know. With sanding, you could either do it that one way, using that bit, mm. or I'd probably just do it that way, using that part. Obviously, you can't do it like that, but that way and that way is going to give you a little bit of variation in terms of. Well, being comfortable, I guess. Yeah. Before your hands start aching. Yes. How, how well does it, how, how does it look? Well, I 
Oh no, sorry, I haven't seen it in the, the server. I mean, I, 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 I've never done that anyway. What I've done is I've literally, you know, sprayed over the car and then watched it all start appearing. You know. Right. But obviously, I, I didn't do it liberally enough like you did with mine. And came here to have it done. That's why I pulled a load more off. So um, yeah. The so. red seven. The red seven is good, but as soon as the sun comes up, you've had it. Right. It dries it on like it did. It so quickly. Yeah. Built on the Corusol, twice the price of 60 quid, 5 litres, not 30 quid. Yeah. Even in the sun, the Corusol does work for a lot longer. Yeah, funny enough, I've watched this forensic something detail. Yeah. Which I quite like actually, because he seems to break it all down. He even did some snow foam okay. about um, the corrosiveness of it on bare metal. Right, okay. Uh, and he got little samples of metal. Right. And he literally brushed it on. Um, and then he did it with many, many different uh, um, um, car pro, um, McGuire's, blah, blah, chemical guys, lots of different ones. Um, and then I think he mentioned it there. Um, yes. He said that one turned out to be overall the best. He said because it, it's not got the corrosive um, chemicals in it so that if you hit bare metal, it's not going to start eating away with, or oxidising the surface. Um, so and he said for outdoors and mobile stuff, said that was probably the best. Even though you're paying a little bit more for it. Oh, um, it's cheap. Yeah. £16.95 for five years. Oh, okay. It's one of the cheapest. Anyway, he was, he was, um, he was saying that, that, uh, yeah, that was, that was if, if you wanted something that was an all-round, uh, you know, really good. I mean, he was saying that um, Car Pro INX is great. Um, if you, um, because it's a bit more watered down, it's good for like putting on on the body panel. The only thing is, is it will have a tendency to dry quicker. Right. Where there's um, where that name you just mentioned again. Um, yeah, there. Um, right. Iron X um, okay. version yeah. um, was a lot better. It was a bit more thicker, so it was better for the wheels because right. it, it wouldn't just run off. It would, it would actually slowly lose itself down. So. I thought myself, and, and, and as I say, it seems to be quite cheap, that stuff, so I thought myself, well, sometimes it's not always the big players that you really yeah. want to go with, um, because he did say that the, um, the car pro stuff is quite expensive. You know, you're looking at 60 odd pounds for a, a, a American five gallon. Uh, so it's four, so, so it's four, sorry, uh, not gallon, one yeah. inches. Yeah. So it's, uh, so it's, it's less, so you just think, oh, okay. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's quite good the way he does it, actually. He does all these little forensic stuff and... He's uh, good child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's number three. Yeah. Third biggest, I think. Yeah. I still want to try and beat him to 100k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do want to beat him, but he's on, he's on more than whack details. Right. Yeah. Quite a lot. I haven't checked him recently. Uh, yeah, I think he may get that for me. I think I'll be quite detailed because... Well, now he's starting to do some, uh, some very, very nice cars. Yeah. Because um, that's what we all want to watch at the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah. We don't want to watch Beamers and Audis and nice. Renaults and shit cars like that. We want something a bit more special. Yeah. <laughs> something a little bit more cool, as it were. Or something neglected. Or something really buggered. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's even more buggered than mine. Oh, good. Yeah, mine's, mine's obviously nothing compared to some of them out there. But yes, I mean, I must admit, the, the alloys have never been, never been, well, the car's never been properly, properly looked after. I mean, this is the first time we've ever had any wet sanding and, um, and the compounding and polishing in all this lava. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So then I should know it's enough. I think mean, you just keep going at the moment because uh, I think wet sanding is all about, you know. Yeah, keep going. You're in the yeah, because you're, you're not, you're, <laughs> you're, you've not even been on it like, yeah, you, you need to have at least been there for 20 minutes. Oh yeah, you have 20 minutes. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. 
to help you more? Or? No, no, leave that on. Just going to take these two off. Oh, is this when you don't want the Porsche to go on the bonnet? Yeah. Uh, that was already there. Oh, it's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, well, maybe that was a bit of a touch up. That fluff was the bit on top of it. Must have already been the man. Pretty sure it was. this way obviously we're going to machine polish all of that you can then compare it against this panel mm -hmm. so it's going to be a nice comparison and it's giving you a good bit of practice for wet sanding you're doing a good job yeah so when you do machine polish it i mean that entire area needs a real good yeah i'm going when you oh you can do it right yeah. you want to really um do it quite firmly against the yeah, because it's getting it down into the fibres. Brush out that <coughs> dried up compound. Yeah, that yeah, to do. Right. Now it needs one heck of a good machine polish. And then it'll look immaculate. Half of it will look immaculate. <laughs> this half is going to look. <laughs> Not yeah. quite as good, but. There's a wipe off. Mm -hmm. Cool. Do your stuff then, young man.
interesting because it was looking like you can see it's a bit wavy there. Oh, yeah. But it's just the way that you it's, that you go in, the way that you're polishing it. Yeah. I thought it was in the paint, but it's not. Um, Let's just wipe that off now, so it's like. Yeah, I tried to do like in three sections, first one, second and third, and then all over it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, best idea. It's all manageable. It didn't cure yet, right? But um, probably not. No, not fully. Yeah. Didn't realize how much. And if you would leave like that, then it would have all those marks, right? Um. Or not necessarily. No, that you'd still be able to wipe them off. At this point, you'd still be able to wipe them off. Obviously, if. Um, if it had just been laid, then that's going to create a bit of a problem, but... Mm -hmm. So, you still got... Yeah, it needs, it needs another going over there. Yeah, because here you can still see. Yeah. Yeah, give it another. And here as well. Yeah. Just hit those. Oh, we need that to put them up. Slowly, just in case. Yeah, yeah let's just so you can see if anything goes wrong with it. Oh, this one you've got, isn't it? Um, kind of like... 